In this tutorial I'll be making a handheld product of some sort um, using the principles of third angle projection. So what that means is that we need to know what our front, what our side and what our top view will look like. So let's create our box um, first. need to give it my dimensions which is 80 by 160 and I need it to have a height of 90. What I also need to do now as well is get my sketch planes ready. So click on a face, Go. the peel will appear, select plane make sure you push it away from your cube select the other face plane push it away my top and I'm also going to do a plane at the bottom just in case Now the plane at the bottom is in case I want to cut some detail away from the bottom later on. Um, now I might as well do that now as I have a flat surface to work with. Um, so we're going to create our first sketch now. Um, and in this case, my front view will be the longest length of my um, handheld object. So I'll go to Sketch, New Sketch, and I'll select my work plane 1. So if I now go to my view box, click on front, there you'll see I've got a, that's my front view because it's the longest side. Now just in, just for sake of time, I'm going to do this quite rough. I'm going to use the spline tool to get the shape of this product. There we go. That's going to be the side view of my, or the front view of my product. <coughs> Not sure what it is yet, but we'll find out. Um, now we'll go and create a new sketch on our top view. So sketch, new sketch. Now we can go to top view. Now here you you need to know what your top view looks like. So if you've done a hand-drawn third angle projection sketch, then it will be handy to have in front of you on the table. So then you can actually transfer the 2D sketch on your paper to the computer. Now I'm going to work on my top view. I'll create a circle. I then will draw on my continue drawing that so I need to make sure I, I I will then use a creative fillet A little bit more, and I'll create a fillet as well. On the other side, sketch fillet.
Edge Fillet. Let's just leave it at that. Let's move. Oh, there we go. Let's get the trim. Here we go. And let's get the fillet. Like so. So that's what our top view looks like. I'm happy with that. Now let's look at um, our side view. So we'll create a sketch, new sketch on our side plane. Now, for I'll use the spline tool. Obviously, you you have a lot more time, so you'll be able to not rush this. So we need to make sure we've got this well. Sketch. Sometimes you have to use more of a 3D view to make sure you're actually sketching on the right sketch. So there we go. If we now look at that's what our right looks like, that's what our front looks like, that's what our top will look like. Now it's just a matter of extruding. So if I select my front view, the peel will appear. I will go extrude. And I'll go all the way through. Again, I've got the little peel option coming up. In this case, what I want to do is I don't want to cut a hole. I want to keep what intersects. So in essence, I'm keeping the shape that I'm after. So like so. So now I've got that side profile. Now I can do exactly the same thing for the top. Again, the pill will appear. I want to go intersect. So now see, I'm starting to get more of a, a shape I'm after. And then now we'll do our side extrude. And then I'll cut this right through. And again, I'll click intersect. So as you can see, now I've got some sort of dust handheld vacuum, we could say, or who knows. But uh, now let's have a bit of fun. Now we can start to have a bit of fun um, adding some fillets in, and getting some curves in here. So if I select these edges so I'm holding control as I'm selecting all the corners and then I click on fill it you can see that I can start to get nice fillet. Now notice at the bottom here if I push that fillet too far I get a little exclamation mark here that says it's it's impossible to do that so sometimes you've got to be really slow um, and and see how far you, in you can actually add a fillet sometimes it's just a matter of pressing a number enter as you, so there you can see I've added a nice fillet. Um, I can also, let's try to fillet this face. So let's select, let's select our edges. Let 
let's just do these 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 for now. Let's just do that one. Sometimes it's better just to do and see what it lets us do. Fill it. Yeah, so that's very tight space, so it's not going to let us do it there. So that's okay. We can pan around. So yeah, look, obviously I've rushed through it, but if you took a bit more time and care to get your um, your design up and running, just by simply then adding simple fillets, you can get you can start to really um, get some really nice forms. So hopefully that's helped. Um, try it out for yourself and see how you go.